Dear friends, this is R.V. Shagar, Practicing Company Secretary. Today is the Practicing Company Secretary Day. I wish all the Practicing Company Secretaries, my brother, my brother for returns, wish you a happy Practicing Company Day. Today I am going to discuss an interesting case recently passed by the NCLT. NCLT found heavy charge against a resolution personnel acted in the Bad, uh, not in good faith towards the corporate data. So the, this case is very interesting one and I want to discuss about this case. Uh, in this case, inspection order against Vijay Kumar or CAR, a resolution personnel, passed under IBC. IBBA wide order data 5th September 2019 appointed an inspecting authority called the IEA to conduct an inspection of Mr. Vijay Kumar GAR an IP insolvency profession and having reasonable grounds to believe that the IP had contravened the provisions of the code, regulations and directions issued thereunder. Allegation against the IRP, Interim Resolution Profession, that is Vijay Kumar Gar. The RP appointed Duff and Pelps, Duff and Pelps India Private Limited, shortly known as DNP, to provide support services during CARP of CGL, NWL and NBL. Section 22A of the code states that IRP shall have the authority to appoint accountants, legal and other professionals as may be necessary. However, appointment of DNP by the resolution person was finalized in violation of the provisions of the IBBI code. Since DAP, DNP cannot be considered as a professional, therefore the board is of the opinion, prima facie view, that RP, resolution person, has violated the various sections of the inverse insolvency code. Whooping fees. It was observed by the uh, inspection committee that the fact that the matter is that DNP was engaged in all three CIRPs, CDL, NWL, NBL for providing infrastructure, personal and back office support at the fee of Rs. 23,75,000 per month for CGL and Rs. 6,87,500 per month each for its two subsidiaries namely NWL and NBL. DNP was only engaged to provide infrastructure, personal and back office support services which cannot be classified as a professional services invoking skill or even a profession. DNP cannot be regarded as a IPE. Further, DNP cannot be regarded as an IPE under IBBA provision since it has not been recognized by the board under regulation 12 of the IP regulations. Thus, DNP does not fall within the definition of the term professional. High amount of professional fees paid to DNP. It has been observed from the minutes of the Committee of Creditors meeting that DNP was engaged for providing infrastructure, personal and back office support at a whooping fee of Rs. 23,75,000 per month, excluding taxes and out-of-packet expenses for CGL and Rs. 6,87,500 per month, excluding taxes and out-of-packet expenses for each for NWL and NBL. The total fee payable to RP was just Rs. 1,25,000 per month in CIRP of CGL. It is observed that the payment agreed to be paid to DNP in CGL is 19 times of the fees payable to resolution person. It is inconceivable that the cost of providing infrastructure, personal and back office support services in CGL is 19 times of the fee payable to the resolution person. ICC Bank Limited, Gitanjali Gems Limited. In this regard, RP had submitted that Given the peculiarities, complexities and the work to be undertaken for the meeting the objectives of the CARP in the present case, the professional fee charged by the DNP was commensurate and reasonable PTM, WTM. By referring the ICIC Bank Limited versus Kidanthili Gems Limited, observed that amount of recommended to be paid to DNP in that case is Rs. 
by the committee is rupees 48 lakhs 34312 including gst rp already aware that the assets of the corporate debtors were already attached by the various investigation agencies and could not be taken over this shows that the engagement of dnp for nbl and nwwl subsidiary of cgl at an exorbitant rate of rupees 6 lakhs 87500 per month each plus taxes and out of uh, tax uh, expenses was nothing but a a way of siphoning of funds the corporate debtor findings dnp is not a professional and hence appointment of dnp is in contrary to section section 22 of the ibbi code fees rupees 23 lakh 75000 excluding taxes per month to dp uh, dnp in the matter of cgl which is 19 times of the fees payable to rp cannot be said to be reasonable fee rupees 6 lakh 87000 excluding taxes and out of pocket expenses per month each in the case of nbl and nw to dp dnp also cannot be said to be reasonable thus there is a contravention of the code of conduct by rp so the rp has been mainly alleged alleged by the ibba that he has contravened the code of conduct as prescribed in the ibba code contravention number 2 in the matter of cgl a uh, resolution person re- received a, a p approval from the coc members to get the insurance for himself during the course of this carp so there is a provision in the ibba code that in a uh, resolution person can insure against is any risk arising out of carp so however the rp purchased the two insurance policies for icic long guard general insurance company limited and made dnp as a beneficiary in the same provided unnecessary benefits to dnp even though it was stated in the engagement agreement between rp and D- dnp that dnp would act independently of the rp cost incurred by the rp in providing insurance to the dnp was done in violation of the section 513 of the code therefore the board is of the prima facie view that resolution person has acted beyond his authority findings conducting the two meetings of of creditors beyond the carp period and discussing agenda other than the directed by the adjudicating authority that is ratification of irpc or beyond the provisions of the code and the directions of the adjudicating authority order vijay kumar kar converted the noble insolvency profession into a business the main allegation by the findings by the ibba is that vijay kumar kar a resolution person converted the profession noble profession of insolvency profession to a business converted the professional client relationship to that of money lending and borrowing manipulated the market for insolvency profession services attempted to siphon off course of rupees from the ailing cd to the part to the partner in claim so rp is in collision with the, the dnp they try to to siphon off the funds of the ailing corporate so yeah, when a company goes to uh, ibba then it itself proves that it is in ailing so in such a situation uh, vijay kumar garg has acted in against the Uh, conduct code the sevijay kumar court shall pay a penalty of equal to 25% of the fee payable to him as and the mr vijay kumar court shall ensure that no amount beyond the reasonable fee as determined by the expert committee this is the fees that has to be determined by the expert committee is to pay due to dnp and not hoping figure of 28 lakhs per month vijay kumar court shall undergo pre registration educational course from the ipa of which he is a member and to pass the limited uh, insolvency examination once again that's very important he has to pass the is uh, that means is uh, i already the re- examination written by him was cancelled and he has he has been asked to pass the limited insolvency examination once again to build the capacity to take up the assignments on his own in future icic bank limited was kidanjali gems limited from the synopsis of the order passed by in this case disciplinary committee of the ibba it is un- shockingly revealed that ip of the kidanjali gems also limited also and its two subsidiaries had manipulated the regulation like in the previous case and paid a substantial amount to the same dnp who could not 
be engaged as per IBB regulation as IPE and burden the ailing company. So in this case, the corporate authority is already in a suit. They are under, under the problem, they are under the winding up and they are, uh, their cash reserves are very less. They are al almost they are, they are in death. In that case, in that situation, giving very heavy amount to uh, DNP yeah, by a resolution person is totally condemn condemnable, totally objectionable. And this is very, very, very important case. And this is the teaching lesson to the existing resolution persons who are acting in uh, cases of IB, IBBA now. So this is a eye opener case for the resolution persons, RPs. So they should be very careful in fixing the remuneration to the uh, personnel who are providing professional services and should not pay hefty amounts of the uh, ailing debtor. Th friends, thanking you on this PCS day. And I, uh, I thank you very much for viewing this video and uh, request you to share this video, like this video, comment about this video and also to subscribe my channel so that I whenever I issue a new video on any subject it will come to you directly. Thanking you once again, R.B. Shagar, Practicing Company Security.